Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. This is going to be your weekend outlook, okay? So we're looking here at... Oh my goodness, June 16th, 17th, and 18th. Let's see what the messages are for you for this weekend coming up. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo. Starting off, you've got lightning. Wow. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. <clears throat> Looks like over this weekend, somebody's going to be in some serious shock in regards to you. Something you say, something you do or something you don't say, or something that you do not do. Let's see what else is coming up here for you, Virgo. Okay. Ooh. Dealing with a snake. Someone that may be, um, okay, well, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over the shoulder, the other woman. Okay. Virgo. The other woman, the other man. Okay. Um, I don't know, Virgo. Looks like you're, you're trampling on a snake here. Uh, someone's going to be in complete shock. Um, they get some news or it's a surprise and, um, this person's a snake point blank period. I mean, this person is clever, malicious, cunning snake. Okay. And, um, you might find out or, uh, well, no, okay, I'm just going to say you might find out about another person or another person finds out about you. There's somebody that you could have connected with or could be connecting with and there's like a third party. And yeah, healing from some kind of heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction. Virgo, it looks to me like over this weekend, you're putting your foot down and crushing a snake, okay? And you're getting into some kind of healing like you're healing this this lightning card feels it's a tower it's a tower moment it's like upheaval um it's a total transformation it's like something that comes out of the blue completely unexpected um no longer feeling oppressed um causing a disaster <laughs> um let's see Virgo, maybe you're in some fear of change. You're doing something different here over the weekend, Virgo. It looks to me like you are, I don't know, taking up your sword. Someone around you, a snake, could maybe there was a snake Chinese sign, but somebody around you, very clever, malicious. They could have like a third party involvement. Someone, I feel like you find out or you know either you find out about it or someone comes to you or you have like this wake-up call or some kind of revelation but you know what's awesome about this virgo because i see you in your power and i see you in your strength and i see you not being defeated you've got healing your heart sewing your heart back up together you you are freeing yourself over this weekend from a very toxic situation or relationship or someone that's got some kind of addiction if there's another person involved there could be like a cheating scenario or someone who's a sex addict or someone's just just like a snake just like a snake but i i love that you are like f this <laughs> you're you're just like f this you're not i don't see you being broken here you know definitely healing um, but it looks like you're taking some action over this weekend and someone is freaking surprised, shocked. You find out like either, either you call somebody out about something or you come to realize you have like this wake up call. It hits you like a lightning bolt to the head and it's like, oh my God, this person is an absolute snake. And, you know, even if you don't find out that something, maybe your hunches and you're just like, you know, just the fact that I even have a hunch is enough of a red flag. Trust your trust your your hunches. Trust that gut feeling that you have, Virgo. It looks to me like you're taking your power back over this weekend, and you're like, no, no, no. This is your loss. This is their loss. Not you, Virgo. You saying to another person that this is your loss. You're a pos. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's like, where is this coming from? I mean, it just comes right out. Let me see you're just you know for some of you this could be like a romantic relationship this could be a friend that you that you're just like no i'm done you call somebody out 
uh, somebody steals something or does something and you're like not being gullible you're like taking up your sword and like i know you did this and you're done you're out okay got the hierophant all right let me see here yeah you're definitely like breaking up some kind of relationship or a marriage um, you might even be breaking up a relationship between uh, this person and somebody else. You're revealing your, the courage, man. You got this courage to face some kind of snake. Now, some of you, I'm sure, have already done something like this. So this is just a reminder um, for you to keep healing your heart, okay? And to just keep taking up your sword and defend yourself um, against any kind of like attacks you know that slytherin snake just kind of makes their way in very cunning um very deceptive okay there's like this saying that i heard like the devil doesn't create a path to him um with haunted ghostly trees no he makes everything pretty and everything glorious and it's like a yellow br brick road and it's enticing and something that you want to walk down like some of you may have you know somebody duped you or made you think that they were something when they actually weren't if this is an, a bit of an energy here of like the wolf in sheep's clothing and here you are trying to like taking that 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 costume that sheep costume off that wolf and like i see what you are <laughs> i see what you are you know you're you're breaking these these boundaries here the hierophant is all about you know conforming and um kind of like following the rule of law and virgo's like f this virgo's like rebelling against the status quo or rebelling against some indoctrinated thought process or belief that you had you know you're seeing you're seeing through um the veil here and you know going on this healing journey you know what i mean like i love it like you're freeing yourself from some bullshit is what i see there we go i love it yep there you go putting the putting death to something here there you go transforming transformation virgo this weekend's really super super powerful for you oh we got father's day in the u.s coming up here on the 18th and also the new moon okay so setting those intentions there's a new beginning happening here over the weekend for you setting those intentions get the death card you could have an uh, look this is crazy this is all fixed energy taurus leo scorpio okay if aquarius shows up then we know those fixed signs do not let go those fixed signs of leo taurus aquarius and scorpio they're possessive they're um crazy <laughs> they can be and if anybody here is a cross watcher um and you're looking for like some healing obviously it's not you but generally fixed signs are i don't know they're they're kind of like they just get they get stuck maybe somebody was stuck on you for some of you it could have been that but it looks to me like you are breaking out of the norms you're gaining your courage and your strength to see through the veil and stomp on the snake and transforming yourself so you can have a new beginning this is like death you're healing okay death is like it's done you're out you're done with it and and virgo i feel like someone here is, is going to be like super shocked that you're calling somebody out yeah oh look at that the knight of cups yeah oh the oh wow virgo this might go back to that um narc reading i did i don't know what's going on here but look at that you got this person's like oh no they're gonna try to um regain control or traction they're gonna love bomb you come in with this um knight of cups energy this love offer someone's gonna try and hold on you you're finding out somebody's secret here virgo and you're calling somebody out on their secret um something that maybe they've tried to hide from you or from other people they're gonna come in and just like they're embarrassed they don't want you to they don't want you to tell anyone they don't want to be exposed what the hell is going on in this reading virgo what is going on <laughs> virgo where's Vir where's virgo's sword virgo's like mm -mm. y'all that's it so yeah this person is like no no uh try to like you know pave that beautiful golden brick road from entice you back in try to make you doubt yourself like what is no virgo you see this weekend you're seeing it that new moon is has a very powerful energy for you to kind of be like 
oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The new moon is like, oh, going into quiet. Everything's in the dark now. Okay. Things are going to start coming to light. And I feel like this person is, is just going to be like beyond like, what am I going to do? What do I do? I got to get it like some kind of tactic. I got to figure a way to get Virgo back into like my good graces. I'm going to bring him this great news that, you know, yes, you know, <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, geez. It's like, come on, Virgo, you better not be like, I'm telling you, you better not be like, oh, well, maybe. Eh, no, no maybes, Virgo. Once you, once you see the snake, you can't unsee it. And if you unsee it, then you're just going into denial. Try to keep, try to keep on the, the straight and narrow um, with what you're, what's being unveiled here to you. Okay. But you're coming down with that hammer. And this person I feel like is going to be mostly like, yeah, how am I going to do this? Let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. You've got the angels behind you. You've got spirit. You've got God. You've got protection for you, for you to end this. If you've already ended it. Um, and it's been a while and you've been on that healing journey. I see this, you know, somebody coming back in here, maybe even like, oh, like, let's get married. You know, let's like giving you everything you want, you know, sweetening the pot here. Okay. Oh yeah. There's a commitment card here. Yeah. Let's try to make this work, Virgo. Mm -mm. So yeah, you're definitely calling somebody out on their BS or you will be calling someone out on their BS again either for cheating or lying or stealing or breaking something up, you're ending something, you're divorcing, um, or you're just reiterating your, where you stand with the whole situation if they're coming back in. Um, they don't want to be exposed, Virgo. They don't want you to, to put it out there. Mm -mm. This person, it'll be the death of them. It'll be the death of them. If you tell other people what you find out or what you know, or you start speaking up for yourself, or you, you know, share it with family members or other, like it's, you know, you're, you're going into this healing. Some of you might have just been sitting on something here for a while and not having the courage to stand up. Yeah, you might have been just kind of like taking a passive role, just saying, oh, F it, you know, I'm taking the L, just forget it. I don't want to just be a part of this. I need to heal. And some of you are doing that, and that's awesome, and I see that happening, but I also feel like you're bringing the hammer down on someone. And, yep, yeah, and this is like, some of you are just like going complete silent treatment or silent mode. This person might have been giving you silent treatment as well, and something comes out here. You see something, you say something, you do something, you put an end to something, Virgo. And this wakes, the, like you're poking the bear, not intentionally. Look at you. Yep, you got the queen of swords. Here you are. You're, give, you're dropping some gems. You're dropping some truth bombs. Clarity, like this queen of swords. Let me tell you what. When she's in the reverse, she's cold. She's very unkind. And she can be very abusive. But that's not you. You're in the upright here, Virgo. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to just deal with the facts. And these are the facts. And I'm not going to, you know, my, my decision to heal and forgive this person, that's my personal journey and has, they don't need to know nothing. It's nothing to do with them. These are the facts. And the queen of swords is all about the intellect and the communication and the words. And you're delivering some hard truths. Like I said, you're, you've taken up your sword, male or female energy. You're taking up your sword with somebody. Okay. Could be a, a Gemini, Libra, and there's your Aquarius. Okay. As well. Let me see. What's this person going to do? Like, obviously, I see they're going to try to come in with this apology and, you know, um, be like, like, they don't want, they don't want to be exposed more than um, they don't want to lose you. It's all about them. They don't want to be exposed. Okay. Oh, yeah. This person is going to, I'm um, telling you what, they're going to come in very sort of trying to gain victory over this situation. Get back up on their horse. Get back up on the top here. I don't know what this situation is, Virgo. I don't know what you're exposing or someone exposes to you and then you, you know, bring it out into the open. I don't know what's going on, but I just, ooh, ooh. I mean, I just don't, I see fearlessness though here with you, Virgo. You're fierce, right? I see fearlessness. Maybe you put it in a song or maybe you create like a blog or you, you, you put something out there somehow, some way 
where you communicate something to other people about your situation or about what you're dealing with or what has come upon you um and it's like you just cross some kind of threshold and you've got that knight of swords where you're just very brave with your words and your communication you're not physically in a fight with any anybody you know it's your communication maybe you're going to expose someone who sits in a position with the uh, six of wands is someone who's like um has recognition okay um someone who's at the top someone who's well known maybe you expose them or you you know you you communicate and you you're like hey <laughs> guess what you're 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 not as up on your high horse as you think you are you you knock someone off their horse even you might even just tell it to them yeah and this person is like trying to recover um damage control they're coming in on damage control now, for some of you, this could happen over the weekend and could go even further. Okay, I've got the Page of Wands here. Okay. Why? Why is Page of Wands here? Oh, some of you are going to have some communication with a mother, a mother figure as well, telling somebody's mother about this person or telling... Um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a woman and I'm seeing a child, Okay. So there's a connection to a woman and a child. Now here we have Taurus, Libra energy. But there's a connection to a woman and a child that's connected to this situation. That could be you or that could be the other person. Okay. But they're showing up here. And um, I also feel like this person definitely, um, I'm putting you on some kind of a pedestal with this Empress energy here. <laughs> I don't know. That's a snake energy. I don't, you know what? The, 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 the ideology of the snake, not snakes itself. I don't, like I had a lizard. I had a bearded dragon years ago. I mean, I, I think those are great. I, don't, I just love them. I think they're cool. But the whole ideology of the snake is the temptation, right? That even goes back into the Bible. But, um, you know, I know the snake can represent many things in different cultures. But I see the snake, like even on the lover's card, the snake is winding down um, the tree of knowledge behind Eve in the lover's card. And he's tempting her. Okay, so that you know that that that's what I'm picking up here with that snake energy is someone that comes in and, and uh, puts temptations in front of you, but they're uh, gosh, it's that wolf in sheep's clothing. Someone who comes in real kind and, you know, all that kind of energy. So Virgo, I feel like you're going to be like really balancing out here, getting off some kind of roller coaster, even with the healing card, putting an end to a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Okay. Um, or an up and down, back and forth, on and off kind of situation. It's like you're done. You're no F. You're, I don't see angry, but I do see like you're very passionate um, about this whole situation. This person is definitely going to come in and try to create a new opportunity with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keep your wits about you, Virgo. Yeah, I, I just I just feel like someone was, you know, messing around, being deceitful. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're going to turn the snake into a healing <laughs> a healing snake. That's what they're going to do. This person going to try and turn it around here and try to come back in with this soulmate. You know, you're my soulmate. You're the, you know, you're my person. I'm sorry. Uh, whatever, Virgo. <laughs> can't take back things that you've done. You can't even take back things that you've said. You can apologize all you want, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. If someone was doing you dirty, like you can forgive the person seriously you to yourself you can so you don't sit in like disharmony in your heart you can forgive them and then move the f on right if you haven't done it do it if you've already done it keep doing it here virgo don't stop let go get get away get out of this chaos this emotional turbulence this person you know acting like they're you know uh been taking you on like uh, <laughs> Acting like they've been taking care of you and maybe a child or children or something. Just kind of acting like, no, I'll take care of things. I'll, I'll steer the ship here. You just sit and relax and, you know, or, or you and your inner child. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. But actually, they've been stirring up the water here. They've been causing a lot of chaos, emotional chaos. You know, and you, 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 you haven't even been seeing it. 
really, you probably haven't been seeing it. Like this person has been, you know, yeah, look at the calm water, everything's fine. But actually, they've been behind you stirring up all kinds of uh, turbulence here, like a ripple effect, emotional waves of chaos and behind your back here, Virgo. I've actually never really seen that in this card, but I'm seeing it now. They're the one who's been doing it. Look, they've got that long pole. They've been using their rod. <laughs> they got that long pole and trying to be like, oh no, everything's peaceful. Everything's calm. We're meant for each other. This is great. No, they've been behind your back, stirring up problems, gossip, drama, uh, whatever, doing some crazy s. she, she. And I just feel like Virgo, you're dropping the ball over this weekend. And this person is going to be shocked because you're like, I'm out. Nope. And, and, and even, even if you've been out and they're back and they come back in, um, because of some revelation or something they see or find out about, um, you're like, nope, I'm still gone. <laughs> you might not even communicate with them. You might even not even be in communication, but you might get some, um, weird calls or text messages like stuff gets revealed and you're like oh yeah that's this person um fake accounts fake social media accounts fake numbers that kind of stuff coming in it gets revealed you'll find out you'll know yeah it's this person it's the snake it's the snake and this sun card i love it walking in i'm walking on sunshine yeah walking into your freedom walking into the sun Walking into joy, success, happiness, growth. Wonderful. Put that mf -er in its place. That snake has to go back in the cage or back down on, in that hole where they belong. I don't know where do snakes live in holes? Coiled up in trees. If the lever sh comes up here, I swear. Protecting your child, protecting you, yourself, pr you know, revealing your inner child. And it's all about that healing that inner child. Whatever got you to fall for this snake charmer type of a person male or female you might have been broken at one point when you connected with this person and they 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 fed off that and they figured it out and they knew that you know they could just you know try to fill in those holes for you but that was all for their own benefit horrible person horrible okay so yeah you, you might have felt left out in the cold when this person came in by maybe another relationship or something along those lines and so you might have been broken when this person came in and they took advantage as a typical snake will yeah there's people out there isn't this a lovely message no virgo this is about you this is about you taking up arms taking up your sword and protecting yourself against these types of people whether it's a lover whether it's a friend a family member um car salesman is trying to dupe you like uh, any kind of cause that you're fighting for whatever you're doing in your life um just you're you're setting your boundaries especially and cutting something off getting into that healing mode strengthening your uh your resources and everything that you need to um get in a better place so it's all it's mostly about you Okay, Virgo, so I want, I want to give you the encouragement that, you know, keep doing it. You're doing great. Look at this. Yep, you might have had somebody in your life who was just an abuser. Um, heartbreaker, three of swords. This guy's holding the three of swords. Um, this is someone who's like basically so egotistical and overly confident and they have no empathy for other people. So it's kind of like when you've got like a sports game and the highest points you can get are like 50. One team is one team is at zero and the other team's going to 50. It's like, dude, like what, at this point, what are you doing now? This is all about you. You're just trying to get your, like this is all your ego. Uh, you might've been doing someone... No, <laughs> well maybe you were you might have been dealing with someone like this but you know what it looks to me like you're the one who's i don't know dishing it right back out to somebody here could be a leo right dishing it right back out here to somebody like mm, nah stop nope don't come any further i know your tactics i know how the snake works i know what your game is let's see if anything good is coming in for you virgo over this weekend as well any anything or anyone good positive energy coming in absolutely there you go 
you've got a blessing. This is this is going to bring your blessing. When you cut the snake's tail off and cut the snake's head off, this is going to bring the blessing right here. I just asked, and here you go, Ace of Cups. This is fulfillment. This is emotional nourishment. This is like a, 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 a just a brand new heal. It's a very healing. This is like letting um, spirit into your life as well. Look at the cup overflow. Virgo, I feel like, listen, if you have... You have put that snake back in the cage before, told that person to zip that snake right back up. Whatever the situation, they could be coming in with that, you know, sexual energy as well. Whatever the situation, Virgo, if you've already done that and they start coming back in or somehow they're in your head or in your mind, whatever, just, you know what, Virgo, don't give up. Don't quit. Keep cutting that out. And even the five of swords can represent negative thinking. Cut out that, cut out those thoughts. Okay, um, I'm, just, I'm just hearing cut out those juicy apple thoughts. I guess when Eve bit the apple, you know the story, right? When Eve took a bite of the apple and then, you know, she was tempted and then Adam got tempted and then everybody everybody got all effed up after that. <laughs> but look, yes, you've... Ooh, I just dropped my earphone. So yes, you've got love coming in, Virgo, and a very healing, beautiful new beginning coming in for you as well. You might already have that right now, okay? You might, you might already be experiencing that, and you're just kind of like going to the movies with your new boo, if you have one, or someone that you're connecting with, and then, oh, here comes that snake showing up on your phone or trying to tempt you, draw you back in because you cut them off or you exposed something or you said something to this person, Okay, Virgo, so I like it. I like it. I'm not even going to pull any more cards with there because you definitely have a potential new love start and healing in your life here, okay? But I feel like you need the courage. If, if you haven't done it yet or if, you're, if you've lost the courage, you need the courage to smash this person. <laughs> Lightning bolt to the head. Not physically. Please don't do anything physical. But like really stand up for yourself and hold that sword, you know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Let me see here. Let me get a couple more messages of love and see what other messages are coming in. You could have someone revealing something to you about this person. Could be a third party. And then you find out. That energy plays out also for someone. Oh, man, I keep knocking my camera. Um, let's see, or you see something or you find something. Okay, you've got weight. Timing is not quite right. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. If, if you have a connection with this person where you're tied up with finances for them, don't reach out to them. Um, I'm hearing don't reach out to them personally. Get a... Um, Reach out to them by proxy. If you have financial connection to this person or they owe you money, if they steal something from you or there's some kind of financial connect, money connection to them through business, loans, anything you guys might have tied up together, um, specifically um, reach out to a lawyer or uh, reach out, get a third party to speak for you or someone to represent you, okay? Um, that's the strongest message because this person, uh, very tricky, very cunning. Find someone else to represent you. Have no contact with this person is what I'm hearing. Okay. And, and this is specifically if you have a financial thing, if, if you got to get some money somehow or, you know, if you got to take them to court or uh, something like that, get an attorney or someone to represent you. Okay. Um, if they stole from you, contact the authorities, do what you got to do, okay, along those lines, because I feel like, Virgo, that's in your best interest, and it also shows that you mean business, that you're not playing around, you're taking up your sword, like I said, okay, and time apart, distance will help bring clarity, so really important for you, Virgo, keep that time apart, keep that distance from this person, you'll have your awakening. Maybe you're having it this weekend. This time apart you've had from this person is waking you up to some things here that, you know, maybe you've gone back and forth out of confusion or you weren't sure. 
about, you know, well, they say this, and then they said that, and maybe there was a little cognitive dissonance in regards to someone. You thought they were your friend, but then at the same time, they went behind your back and did all this stuff, but yet they're so believable, and there's maybe a little bit of confusion, or you maybe you felt like you didn't want to hurt this person in case you were wrong, or you didn't have enough evidence. Looks to me like you're getting what you need that will confirm or what you find out, or that you just get the strength and the courage to trust yourself. Your awakening comes, and yeah, you get some clarity, especially for June. Yep, so friendship, right? I was saying friendship here. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a friend. Also, this, you know, they're, they're doing some shady shit. Um, the other thing, too, is this could be someone, um, this person, if it's romantic, may come in and um, just, like, try to apologize and just say, well, can we just be friends? Listen, if somebody is doing that, you call them out on some shady behavior and, like, I'm really sorry. I hope we can just be friends. That leaves that, and you say yes, that leaves the door open for them to later build back up the rapport and do it again. I mean, I always talk, I haven't actually talked about the bloody stumps in a really long time, but you got to get them bloody stumps in. Like that's the only way, um, you know, this person should be able to come back in um, where they have sacrificed and you have seen evidence of their sacrifice. Okay. It's not just about saying a sorry. It's about also making amends by showing and proving that something's changed. But I don't know. Some of you are like, I, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't need it. Okay. You've got true love boundaries. Okay. True love equals boundaries, Virgo. There you go. If this person truly loves you, they're going to they're gonna be okay with your boundaries. But if they're not, and they're going to try to break through your boundaries, that's not true love. Okay? True love has respect involved in it. True love is, is, is respect. It's dignity. It's understanding. It's empathy. Okay? That's, that's what, you know, like even when you're, I guess like when you're disciplining your children, you're disciplining them with love. You're setting boundaries because you love them and you want them to be better. Anyone that tries, and I'm not talking about children trying to break your boundaries because they're kids. They, they're learning still. But when you've got an adult who is not respecting your boundaries and not respecting you, that's not true love. That's, that's an mf -er right there who's a control freak and a snake male or female and i'm not trying to call out the guys only the women do it too there's women who do it too why can't i pick this card up what okay so you've got support lean on your inner circle during this time yep reach out to your support group whatever your support group is whoever is involved in your support group whatever people you get your you re-energize from okay um yeah, so I, you know what, Virgo? I know it's short and it's sweet and it's powerful, Virgo. You're a powerhouse. You're a brick house. You got this, Virgo. You're on top of it. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are gorgeous. You are handsome. You are just like everything about you. You are worthy. And this person being a snake trying to get from you, the reason why they're acting like that is because they know your power. They know what you're worth. Okay, vampire will keep coming back to the same source to keep sucking it dry because they get the best juice. And I feel like Virgo, you got the juice. You get the best juice. And take up that sword, Virgo. This person is, <laughs> listen, if they didn't think that you were the highest of the highest of the almighty goddesses and God, <laughs> I'm not trying to blow up your self-esteem here, but yes, I am. If they didn't think that, they wouldn't give a rat's ass about anything you say because they'd say you're not worthy. Everything about you is a lie, but they know that you're going to expose or you're telling the truth or you know some kind of secret about them and that's why they're going to dip back in and try to like, hush, hush. Remember that song? There's a song. Hush, hush. Keep it down now. Voices carry. Yep. And what's that song about? You guys know what that video is about? What that song's about? If you don't, look it up. Who sang that? hush hush that's an oldie but yeah uh this this person does not want you to speak they do not want you to open your mouth they do not want to be accused of something they do not want to be seen in this negative light and they're going to come in and try to keep you like even if you have no intentions virgo to say anything to anyone just the fact that you know their secret or that you find something out or it's revealed to you 
you've got leverage now on this person. You don't have to be fearful. Don't ever fear. No fear here, Virgo. You've got, you've got strength, source, power, angels, God, spirit on your side. And you've got that support on your side. Don't be fearful. Stand in your truth, Virgo. But just know that, I mean... <laughs> I'm not trying to say that you're going to be vengeful or anything, but it looks like you've got some leverage here. And this is about you leveling the playing field. Like you're not in a one down position here at all, what I see. And this is actually a blessing in disguise, something that you find out or uh, seeing someone trying to come back in. They're in desperation. They're coming in desperate, even with that knight of swords, desperate to talk to you, desperate to try to like, you know, get you to see it differently or something along those lines, Virgo. And you're in a, <laughs> I don't know, Virgo, I just feel like you got the ransom, Virgo, you got the ransom. <laughs> and they don't like it. Oh no, I'm surprised the devil hasn't shown up here. Why hasn't the devil card shown up? That's crazy. Okay, well, there you go. Trying to get you to see the whole set. I said I wasn't going to keep going, but here I am. Try to get you to see the whole thing differently and change your mind. Um, and there's the world. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're coming in to like finish the job here, Virgo, to get you to change your mind so you don't say anything. I don't feel like they're trying to finish you off or anything like that. But... No, well, Virgo, you're definitely having some kind of awakening, you know, something to do with the internet as well. There might be some something on the internet that comes to light for you as well. Okay, but this is like a whole new chapter and a brand new beginning for you, Virgo. And you looking back at this person like, you're a damn fool. You're a fool. That's what you get. That is what you get, <laughs> Virgo. Doesn't it sound like, um, I don't know. Sounds like some kind of movie, but I mean, does art imitate life or does life imitate art? What is it? I mean, people who make movies and, and have all of these things that happen, they, they don't come out of nowhere. They, these are real life situations and circumstances. There's, there you got Pisces, you've got the four fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and you got Aquarius again here. Okay. So there's definitely a shift and a change. And I feel like the overall message here is... You have definitely some kind of an awakening over the weekend and going through this month of June, so much so that you kind of look at this and like, you know, the lesson is learned, the goal is finished, everything's complete, and I'm starting over. Here you go, fresh, the fool, brand new, birthing of a brand new baby, birthing of a brand new um, enlightenment, an awakening. This is, this is like being like a, a six-year-old waking up on a Saturday morning for cartoons and waffles and going out to play. This is excitement and fun and joy. I mean, I don't know, Virgo. You need to have this, I think. I think this is some kind of awakening that you, that you maybe you've been praying for it, for something to be revealed, or, or maybe you've been in confusion, or, you know, some of you may, might have even anticipated that someone was going to try to uh, come back in if they find out that you know something. Uh, yeah, yeah, here they are. Here they are coming back. So, I mean, Virgo, nothing to be afraid of whatsoever. You are the one, it looks like, who has all the power in this situation here. And this person is going to be coming in begging and pleading and doing all kinds of stuff. And I just kind of feel like you, I don't know, you savor it a little bit. Like, nah, <laughs> moving on. All right, Virgo, so good luck for this weekend. Hey, I hope you have a, gr a bright, sunny weekend and you, you do something awesome with, for yourself as well. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So be happy, make good choices going forward, and I will see you all back here on Sunday. All right, love you, take care, bye.